Hello guys and welcome back to Jam Chemistry class and of course in this class I'm going to be looking at metallic bonds. We have seen electrovalent bonds or ionic bonds. We have seen covalent bonds. We have seen coordinate covalent bonds. If you have not seen any of those videos, please check the previous episodes and what and learn before you can join us in this class. But if you cannot go that that way, you can. It's 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 okay to also what continue from this class. But so to to get more. To get more understanding about what you have been discussing, you should what watch the other what episodes. Now, metallic bonds. We say what uh, metallic bond is the what is the force of attraction that holds force of attraction that holds metal atoms together, that hold metal atoms together in a crystal lattice. So, say metallic bonds. Is what the force of attraction that hold metal atoms together in a crystal what lattice, right? So I also say that what that uh, metallic bond, the force of attraction is an attraction between two metals, between two metals. Now let's go back to when we talk about ionic bonds. In ionic bonds, we say it is between what a metal and what a non-metal. All right, then in uh, covalent bonds, covalent bond, we say between what two non metals or between a non metal and a metalloid, right? Remember, all right, this is what we talked about uh, in covalent bond between what uh, two non metals or between a non metal and a metalloid, but for metallic bonds, it is between two metals. The difference between all these, between this, this, and metallic bond, is that what the metal atoms are talking about here are of the same kind, the same kind, are of the same kind. All right. So, for example, let's look at the electronic configuration of sodium. Sodium Na eleven twenty three. It has what electronic configuration of one S two. We have not learned electronic configuration. We are playing in this class, please. Go back to the previous episode on electronic configuration and see them, right? 1s2, 2s2, 2 pixels, and what? 3s1. Now, when sodium atoms come together, right? When sodium atoms come together, this electron in the what? In the 3s orbital, right? Of one sodium atom shares space. It shares space with a corresponding electron in the neighboring atom to form what we call molecular orbital. Molecular orbital. So I'll go over it again. I said when sodium atoms come together, the electrons in this 3s orbital, right, of one sodium atom share space with a corresponding electron in the neighboring atom, what, to form molecular orbital. And once this molecular orbital is formed, the electrons are now free to move about. So electrons move about freely in this world, molecular orbital, and so they become what? And so each electron becomes detached. Each electron becomes detached from its parent atom. They become what detached from its what parent what atom. This is what we call the localization of electrons. So they, they become what delocalized, the local, the local line, the delocalization of electrons. So we say that what that what this electron become what delocalized because they become what they become a detached from what from their parent atom. So that is what what we call the concept of what delocalization of what, of electron. So each atom in a piece of sodium metal right is in contact with other sodium metals in in what it's in contact with other sodium metals that world that surround it each atom in a piece of what sodium atom is in is in contact with what with uh, other sodium atoms world that surround it all right so let's see what let's us see a small illustration of what that means right so we are having what a sodium atom we are having a, an illustration right uh uh, these are the metallic ions which are positive. These are the metallic ions, these are electrons, right? These are valence electrons. 
Okay, so this ones here that are called the, the, the localized valence electrons, the localized valence electrons, right? Why were these ones are what the metallic ions? Metallic ions. These ones are negative. These ones are what are positive. So uh, the, the 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 attraction, right? The strength of metallic bonds, right? Is in the is in the what? Is in the attraction between what the C, the C. This side you can see the localized electrons everywhere. The C, we call them the C of the localized electrons. The C of the localized electrons. So the strength of metallic bond lies in the what in the attraction between the C of the localized electrons and these metallic ions. The C of the localized electrons are what are negative, like I've said. The C of the localized electrons, which are what negative, and the metallic ions, which are what positive. The metallic ions are positive, all right. They are positive, like I've elastated. So the force of attraction, the, the, the strength of metallic bond is in the attraction between the C of the localized electrons and what which are which are negative, and the metallic ions, which are what which are positive, all right. So also, another thing you should know is that what metallic bonds are present in molten metal. They are present in molten metal. Metallic bonds are present in molten metal. And the attraction between the C of the localized electrons and the metallic ions, right, is responsible for the high conductivity, for the high conductivity. For the high conductivity, for the high reflectivity, for the high malleability, and for the high ductility of what of metals, right? If you see what metal metals have these properties, so it's because of what of the force of attraction between what the C of the localized electron and the metallic what ions in the what in the crystal lattice. All right, so that is what accounts for the world for these properties that metals have. You get me now. All right, so another important thing you should know, which can come out in your exam, very very possible to come out in your exam, is that what uh, is what breaks metallic bonds. What can break metallic bonds? Right. What you should know is that what boiling, boiling breaks metallic bonds. So once you boil metallic bonds together, what it what it breaks what the bond. Once boiling is occurred, when boiling occurs, the metallic bonds can be broken. But melting does not break it. Melting melting loses it loses it. It loses metallic bonds. But does not what? But does not break it. Right, so I'll go over that again. I say boiling breaks metallic bonds, but melting loses it, but it does not what break it. So this is what you should know about what about metallic what bonds, right? Now say metallic bonds the force of attraction that holds metal atoms together in a crystal or lattice and between what two metals. All right, we talk about what uh, using sodium what uh, atom uh, sodium or atom as an example and we'll be able to see what uh what see what the localization of electrons is right when the three the electron in the three orbital uh, share space with with the what the corresponding electron in what in another what, sodium atom to form what molecular orbital then you see that what the electrons uh move about freely in the molecular orbital and become detached from the parent atom that's what uh, 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 the localization of electron talked about. All right, so this is where I want to stop in metallic bond. I want to see another type of bond in the world in the next episode. Do not forget to, uh, to join us. Do not forget to like this video. Like, just click on the like button below this video. Do not forget to subscribe. Subscription is free. It shows that whenever we release another new video, you will be among the first to be notified on your phone. That is what it means. You are not paying for for, for the subscription in this video, in this video, in this uh, channel. Once you subscribe, it, it you get notified once we release a new video. All right. So do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to share to your friends, to your class group, so that others can also learn and join. My name remains Oblo, and I will see you in the next class.